it's Sri Lanka, so I'm with the one, the only, Tarkas Anivaratna, who is endorsed by Dixon. What's up, man? How's it going? I'm doing good, Jasmine. How are you? Top of the world, always. What's going on with you? Uh, you know, these days you're asking about my new projects and all, right? What else, man? <laughs> well, you are working on too many things. Uh, yeah, I do have my own business too, so it's a bit of a, you know, hard task to you know, balance everything. Uh, these days I'm playing with, uh, you know, Nala Kasaji, a very popular act in the local industry. And um, also working with, you know, one of my buddies, Kazun Navaratna. And uh, also another guy called uh, Prihan. I think you have heard about him. I would have. You would have, obviously you should. Uh, then uh, along with uh, another popular act in the local industry called Radish. Mm. So I'm working with them for a new project. It's also like very uh, Sri Lankan music. And uh, you know, uh, playing with Nalaka to some of the top musicians in the country, in the Kappa, you know, sometimes with Chitra and sometimes with Kazun. So, you know, using all metal elements and modifying their songs. Nice. So you're probably the first Sri Lankan to be endorsed by Dixon. How did this happen? Well, uh, this was actually happened in uh, 2015. Uh, when we went to New Zealand, there was a problem with my pedal, so I had no other choice, you know, I wrote to them. Then I told them the exact, uh, you know, same with Dixon because I've been using them, uh, using that product for almost like 10 years. And uh, they were like very happy, you know, to support me with their brands. Actually, it's not only a, a pedal endorsement, it's a, a full gear endorsement. I'm waiting for my drum kit because it took like close to five months, you know, for the uh, designing and it's a huge drum kit, comes with five toms and two double bass drums. So, uh, two bass drums. So, uh, yeah, so that's about it. What does this endorsement mean to you as a Sri Lankan? Well, as a nation, it is always a tough task, you know, going for an endorsement because we don't get that much of chances because uh, our country is not recognized around the globe. Uh, well, it's a uh, you know, big thing. It's actually a dream, you know, getting an endorsement, uh, working with all these international musicians, and you know, it is very hard to compete with mm. them. Although we can play well, or sometimes you know, we are knocked up to their level. Mm. Uh, so uh, it actually means a lot to me, and I must thank uh, you know, my former bands and everyone who supported me. And apparently, Dixon is not the only endorsement. There's another one coming too. Ooh, what could this be? Uh, I think I shouldn't mention the name. Let's keep it as a surprise. Port Duck. Port Duck. Come on, you can do this. Build okay, Port Duck uh, Little. The brand name ends with X. It's actually a very popular brand, uh, especially for metal drumming. I think some of the drummers uh, in the metal industry are using this brand. So, actually, it's a grade A endorsement too, like Dixon. So, I will announce it. If anyone wants to get an endorsement, I think uh, you know, they have to start doing original music mm. and uh, recording albums and touring around the globe because no matter how popular you are in Sri Lanka, but if you're not playing your music on the international level, mm, chances true. are very low. So I got this, maybe people don't know how I got it because uh, when I was playing with Stigmata, we toured and also in Tantrum we toured and I think uh, record like four or five albums. So that was a, you know, a trump for me mm. because uh, with that only I managed to market myself also with my playing and you know, a few people encourage me all the time. Must mention uh, guys like Andrew Basaker. When I started playing with him in 2010, you know, <clears throat> we had different directions uh, towards music. I think from that onwards, uh, you know, I always wanted to work hard mm. and I think I did it. But there's a long way to go and I'm still learning, you know. I'm a drummer but still learning. There's a lot to learn. Always. Yes. Uh, so that being said, are you planning on doing workshops in similar? Uh, yeah, there are some workshops to be done, uh, but waiting for my kid because I can't, you know, carry another brand name mm. and you do workshops. Probably uh, March in 2018, yeah. So hopefully, because uh, once I get the drum kit, yes, I will announce. But uh, I'm targeting all the heavy metal drummers because Sri Lanka has fabulous mm. drummers, you know. So my genre is metal and, uh, you know, I, I'm into different forms of music. So I'm looking forward to do some workshops for the metal drummers. I think the scene is growing in Sri Lanka. Very much. Yeah, so please wait.
We will all wait. We'll all do a Richard Marx while we're at it. <laughs> also, who are you playing for these days? Uh, these days, I'm playing with, uh, like I said, uh, doing a project with, uh, you know, with Kasun and, uh, you know, Kasun Nawar, yeah, popular yeah, yeah, yeah. character. Famous producer in the yeah, metal circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very talented guy. Kasun and um, also another very uh, popular act in the local industry called Prehan. I think he has released videos and he's, he's giant. He's a giant, I would say. And Radish, another very, very popular character in the local industry. And I'm doing a project with them. And also I'm uh, playing with Nana Kasaji. He's like very popular in the local industry, you know, playing for lots and lots of musicians. A good director. And uh, I think we played a few gigs already, uh, you know, for you, uh, to, uh, I think we went to, to Chapa, Kasum Karha and Chitpal. So a few tours in line, you know, that's another gig happening in December and January. So yeah, doing good. Exciting times ahead. Thanks a lot so much for your time, Tharika, you. and all the best, Machan. Thank you very much. And Decibel.LK rocks.